going. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is David Jagno, aka the Jaggernaut, coming at you with another video, this time about Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I just got the chance to play at E3 2019 on PS4 in Los Angeles, California. My very first E3 was all the way back in 2015, which is the event where Sony unveiled Final Fantasy VII Remake for the very first time. And now, four years later, at my fifth E3, I finally got the chance to play it. To put it lightly, it's rare that a game with such a storied history and massive following gets the chance at a revival like Final Fantasy VII. If you go back and play most PS1 games, such as Final Fantasy VII, they just don't hold up that well, especially graphically. This remake is a chance for Square Enix to make it look like we remember it looking. My demo for Final Fantasy VII Remake was split into two parts inside the massive Square Enix booth in the South Hall of E3 2019. The first half took place in a waiting room, a bit like the kind you would find at rides in Disneyland. We all gathered on benches and watched a video of Jesse explaining our mission and the game's controls. It's got a very different flow from the original's turn-based combat. In fact, I would even go so far as to say the gameplay in the remake has more in common with Kingdom Hearts than it does the classic Final Fantasy games. You can freely move around the environment, you see enemies in the real world before they attack, you can even move around during combat and use your normal attacks in real time. The only real throwback to the original game is the fact that you build up your ATB gauge to use specials and you can use a limit break whenever you take enough damage. Unfortunately, recording was not allowed in my demo, so I can't show you exactly what it was like, but I can describe it a little bit. Basically, you press square to build up your normal attack, which then increases your ATB gauge, and you spend those gauges to cast spells, use abilities, and use items. Then, as you take damage, you build up a limit break meter, similar to the original game, that unleashes a massive attack. But the big difference here is that you need to pause the game by pressing X to use an ability, spell, item, or limit break. So the result is that you have gameplay happening in real time, you use attacks, you dodge roll, you move around, then you pause it to issue a command or switch characters. That results in a lot of pausing, which is a little jarring since usually you would expect the combat to be relatively fluid. It still feels good and I liked the slow-mo aspect, it definitely looks cool and feels cool, but it does create a break in the action very frequently. The other thing that was a little bit jarring is that the camera didn't automatically lock onto enemies unless I was missing some control option. Uh, Cloud and Barrett would target enemies just fine, I could still attack them, but the camera wouldn't automatically focus on the enemy, so I had to try and move them around with my left thumb on the left stick while pressing attack and dodge with my right thumb on the face buttons, and then still need to move the camera, resulting in a little bit of awkward clumsiness whenever I was playing. I got used to it after a while, and I was able to keep track of enemies relatively well. And that's really pretty much it. It was a short demo, only about 15 minutes long, and I couldn't record footage like I said, so I tried to do my best to describe it. If you want more details on the demo and what I thought, you can read my impressions on Gameskinny.com. I'll link my preview down in the description below. Overall, I had a blast playing it. It looks gorgeous. The gameplay is really fun. It's very exciting, and it definitely is a good mix of real-time and turn-based sort of strategic combat. I think they did a good job translating things over to a more action focused format and I do think that the new mechanics do fit well in the Final Fantasy 7 universe. Uh, so I didn't get to play a whole lot of the game, only a short demo, but you can expect for the game to release on PlayStation 4 on March 3rd, 2020, so it's not too far away if that release date does hold. Uh, for more insight into what I think about video games, my impressions, my reviews, and more, please subscribe to The Jaggernaut right here on YouTube, and you can follow me over on Twitter as well. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Thanks.